Luna, I need to get some new vans. How's it going YouTube? I just wanted to make today's video to talk about future plans for the car. Before I talk about anything to do with the car, I need to clean the fucking dirt off of it because it is filthy. Let's cut to a cinematic clean car montage. So, just to continue the rest of the video, we're out here, the car is relatively clean, it already got a little bit dirty, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was my future plans for the car. You guys know what I've already done to the car, if you don't, description, everything should be in the description. What I want to do next is get wheels. I'm very tired of these stock 17 inch wheels, they're just boring. What I'm thinking about is uh, Conic Ren Forms. Um, I'll put a picture up right now of what they look like. I think they would look great on this car. I really want legit coilovers. That's how much gap I have in the front. In the back I have considerably more gap. I don't exactly know which ones I want to get yet, but I know one of the next things I'm going to do is coilovers. Alright, so power modification. For stage 2 you need a downpipe and then an intake. I have the intake. I'll probably get a legitimate intake. I was looking at like a CTS intake. I don't want to spend too much on intakes, but I, I don't want to stick with the same one I have. Stage 2 tune and the downpipe just bring the power up a little bit. Also, <coughs> Luna's over here crying because she saw a rabbit. Ooh. As far as exhaust work goes, as soon as I uh, do the downpipe and go stage two, that's probably when I'm gonna wanna do the exhaust. The catback has to mate to the downpipe because the catalytic converter is on the downpipe. If I change downpipe size, I'm gonna have to build around that. I'll probably end up going the custom route and just having a shop do it, but I'm not gonna do like a ricey straight pipe. I also would like to get the DSG tune. It ups the clamping force of the clutch and also adds features like launch control. Um, that'll just help it handle more power. I could use the transmission tune, but it's not hurting anything not having it. Eventually, I'm going to reach a point of no return where I'm going to have to get the transmission tune. So there's little cosmetic stuff. At some point, I'd like to get it wrapped, but I don't want to be living um, on the dirt road when I get it wrapped because it's just going to tear the wrap. I've seen some cool like front splitters that work on GTIs. I'm sure I could get it to work on the GLI so a new front splitter would look really cool. Far ahead in the future, what is the end limit of this car? Honestly, it 100% depends on finances because that's the only thing stopping me from modifying the car right now. Eventually, I would like to upgrade the turbo. Right now, there's not a legitimately good turbo upgrade other than Franken turbos for the Gen 3 motor. There's little things like charge pipes. I've heard that can help to reduce turbo lag. The Gen 3 uh, GLI motor, it's different than the Mark 6 and Mark 7 GTI motors. It's like a Mark 6.5. It's basically the Mark 7 motor with the Mark 6 turbo on it and there's a couple different um, discrepancies between the motors but it's something that isn't worked on that much. Um, it, it, it is more and more, but there's not a huge presence for it. So if money was no option, just completely unrealistic, crazy, I would like to all-wheel drive swap it. I think that would be really cool. I know there's a ridiculous amount of custom fabrication that goes into it, but I think, you know, very far in the future, um, 
that would be something I would look into. Probably before that point, to be honest, I would just sell it. But who knows? I want drivability. I want this ultimately to be the best daily driver Volkswagen possible because that that's what Volkswagen is. Volkswagen is literally people's cars. And uh, if I'm going to build the best Volkswagen ever, it's got to be the best people car. It's got to be fast. It's got to be fun. It's got to handle. But it's also got to get you from point A to point B. Um, I would love to get a legitimate project car at some point, but I just wanted to make this video to go over what my future plans for the car is with you guys and just let you know that there is going to be a lot of content on this channel. The only thing stopping me is funds. So, uh, as I can do it, I will do it. Um, all the work on the car that I can possibly do, I'm going to do myself. Obviously, there's some stuff that I can't do or like when I got the car tuned, I don't have the Uniconnect cable, um, but probably when I go stage two, I'm gonna get the Uniconnect cable too. So yeah, basically just wanted to show you guys what I'm planning to do to the car and what the future of the car is. As far as other cars, um, eventually I'm going to get a project car. It could be in five years, it could be in a year, who knows, but eventually it will happen but for right now, I want to build the best daily driver, people's car, Volkswagen, possible. Um, thank you to everyone who has been watching the videos. If you enjoy this video, slap the like button, um, comment, subscribe for more content because there's going to be a lot of future content. And most of all, have a great day. Peace out.